Now let's play a little game. Two truths, zero lies. All right, all right, I'll tell you anything you wanna know. Just don't hurt little Moby. Are you listening to me? No. So, when are you gonna let me go? Just a few weeks ago, we were friends. And now, you're crazy. Over what? A pie? A stupid pie? It's not just a pie, Derek! It's... It's the last thing I have of her. What? Do you remember when we first met? I was all messed up. Full of whatever I was drinking that night. And tears were just everywhere. I, I couldn't make them stop. Yeah, your, your grand passed away. Today's her birthday. And that pie was the last pie she ever made and someone stole it from me. Last night? Yeah. <laughs> the definition of perfect, you know that? Oh, Graham, no one can ever replace you in your homemade paths. I don't know how I'm gonna do this without you. I believe the person that stole Graham's pie is the one that killed her. You don't think it was an accident? I know it wasn't. So, are you gonna let me go? Not yet. We gotta leave. This is kidnapping! One question. Why do you need me, and why are we at the baker's house? That's two questions, Darren. I'm not taking another step until you tell me something. I need you because, because I have no one else to help me. Oh, boo-hoo, Tara. You kidnapped me, threw me in your hot-ass car for what, a pie? You're crazier than my ex, and she was crazy. Look, I have no nipples, see? No nipples. I can't do this right now. You lack people skills. And that's why I need you here to keep me under control. Plus, we leave nine hours before 12, please. Yeah, well, we're already here, but you owe me. Oh, hey Tara, what brings you by? I wanted to talk about your stepdad. Oh well, um, I just made some biscuits. Did you want to come in? Well, I haven't seen Tom in over two days, but it's kind of common for him. He's always so busy, especially since my mom's been out of town, but we don't really get along that much, so I don't really care where he be at. But the bakery's been closed since... Since my granddad. Oh, I am so sorry, Tara. You know what, if it wasn't for your grandma, it, the, the place wouldn't even held up that much. And her homemade pies, oh my god. Can you just tell me where Mr. Baker is? Sorry, Jessica. Tara's just having one of her days. It's just really important if you could tell us where your stepdad is. The only place I can think of is uh, his sister's place out in Cancun. It's like 17 minutes away from here. If you want, I can write it down for you. May I use your bathroom? Yeah, go ahead. It's right that way. Thank you for your hospitality, Jess, but we really must be going. Okay, um, wait, before you go, I have to give you some No, we really must. No, I... Wait, Jessica, I'm sure whatever it is, it can wait. This lady called from Wisconsin for Tom, and she said it's really important if she, if he calls her back, so okay. it'll be really nice if y'all do that. 
And I don't really know how to do that fast texting thing, so... It's called texting, but thank you, Jess. The biscuits were okay. You seriously need help. Look now, Daryl. The sun's going down. You're driving. Oh, new phone? Who this? The address she gave you, he's not there. He's here. What Jessica doesn't know is that since she's one of the main carriers, she can track Mr. Baker's phone and location off hers. Now let's go. Tom's running out. Mr. Baker, I know you're in there. Oh? We're going in. Okay, we can split. I'll go that way. I don't you think go. we have to. Oh my god! This is to my wife, children, interrogates. I know I was never the best man, Laura, but out of all my affairs, one night stand, secrets I never told, you were the only woman I ever truly loved. I'm so sorry I hurt you. To my children, and the children I don't know of yet, I'm truly regretful not being in your lives. As for Tara, I am to blame for your grandmother's death. I loved her more than you could know. She made my bakery the greatest accomplishment of my life. I took something from you, and now I'm giving it back. Alright, let's go. What about Baker? Forget him. He was a liar, a cheater, and most of all, killed my grandmother. But, but Tara! I said, leave him. Come on, we're running out of time. You know, it's 11.45. Green's birthday is almost past. You want to, you know? Why don't you take the first bite? Why? I'm working on my people skills, plus it's what Graham would want. Well, if you say so. My, my. This pie's amazing. You know, I was... I added something a little extra. Your grand won't approve, but given what you did, I think she'll let this one pass. I know you're Tom Baker's bastard son. Last night he came here to warn me about you. He told me you were angry because you didn't want him to leave his wife and come stay with you. You were so torn by who he was, you killed Grant thinking it would change him into a better man. When you finally told him what you did, you weren't given a job well done, and he told you to turn yourself in. That's when he came by my house last night and told me what happened, but... He left so fast, I didn't have a chance to give him a piece of Grant's pie. Happy birthday, Gray. Y'all might actually want to move, 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 move. Fuck. Oh, I forgot my one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's true.